What is up guys and today we're going to be taking a look at a smartwatch listed at 20 bucks. Now most good smartwatches right now cost anywhere from 100 to 300 and up. Heck, you could even get yourself one of the top tier Apple watches for a low low price of $1,500 but sadly that's not what this video is about. This is about the $20 smartwatch that could, or at least tried. So this watch is made by Odium and right off the bat you might notice that this thing looks a bit like an Apple watch and even some of the design elements like the uh, circular icons sort of take from what Apple has created. So the 1.5 inch 240 by 240 pixel screen does not stretch from edge to edge like the listing on Amazon would insist but instead sits in the middle of those chunky bezels around it. The quality of the display doesn't even seem too bad but even if it were, I doubt it would be a deal breaker for someone buying a watch this cheap. This thing is running a customized version of Android, and the OS is pretty basic. You have a clock screen which can be switched between three different clocks, a sort of main screen with some basic info on it, and then three pages of apps. And those ones there are the ones you're stuck with since there's no other place to download them from. Some of these apps include a calendar, timer, remote camera, and well, there's even an icon for Google Chrome, Twitter, and Facebook, but to use them it says you have to insert a SIM card. Now, I highly doubt you'd be able to run those on the actual watch itself, so it probably just opens up the app on your phone or something like that. As well, if you don't plan on putting a SIM card inside this thing, or even an SD card, then about half the apps are going to be useless to you. If you look at the upper front of this smartwatch, you may have noticed something. That's right, a camera. While the camera on this thing is atrocious, it's a pretty cool feature since really none of the other mainstream or popular smartwatches have one. As well, like I mentioned, there is a micro SD card slot, which once again, other smartwatches tend not to have. And once again, speaking of things usually not found in other smartwatches is a speaker, which can be found on the left side of the watch. It's not really a good speaker in terms of quality, but I was actually really surprised at how loud it got. Once connected to your Android or iOS device, it sort of becomes like an outlet for all the sound your phone makes, sort of like a Bluetooth speaker. If you're into calling people on your watch, then this may be a feature for you. Using the watch's speaker and microphone, you can both accept and send out calls from the smartwatch, as long as you have the SIM card in it, of course. Just having it in the phone it's connected to won't be enough. Also, this watch will work with both Android and iOS devices, except it works a bit better on Android. On iOS, it's only going to be able to play all the sounds coming from your phone since there is currently no Bluetooth notifier app that it keeps telling you to download. On Android though, you're going to get a little bit better of an experience since not only can it play things from your phone, but it also will be able to access a little bit of info on your phone like your contacts and recent calls. Other than that though, I couldn't get any of the other apps that said to download the companion app to actually work. The build is all plastic except for the band which is made out of a stiff rubber. As well, that very cheap little dial on the side is the only button. It spins too, but that doesn't do anything. Next to the speaker and microphone on the left side of the watch is the micro USB port hidden under a small piece of plastic used to charge this thing up. The battery life is decent and on standby I was able to leave the watch just sitting there for almost two days before it died. Overall, this smartwatch isn't really the smartest, but it does have some useful features as well as some that aren't present on much more expensive and mainstream ones. The watch though is cheap and I don't know how reliable it is because there were times when it just stopped working and I had to wait until it died and then recharge it up for it to work again. But this thing is only 20 bucks, but even then I would say that you probably don't need this thing. Thanks for watching, the link to this smartwatch will be in the description. As well, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more awesome weekly stuff just like this. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.